Good morning. The dream to win a state title in volleyball was still alive for two area schools. East was on the road in the South Bay. Garces hosted Verdugo Hills in Division 5 action. The Rams student section was out in full force for this playoff matchup. Garces already up one in the match. Mia D'Amato gets the kill to open up the next set. The Rams are Valley champions due to their efficient attack. The Dons were looking to come back at the end of the second set. ML Machado is right there for the block at the net. Machado wasn't done. She gets this kill to extend the Rams lead. Garces takes the match three to one. The Rams hit the road to play Weisburn Da Vinci on Saturday in the regional semifinals. On the other side of the bracket, East got swept by San Pedro. The Blades end their season with 26 wins and nine losses. This was the first time they had made it to the second round of the regional playoffs in school history. The high school football playoffs will return tonight under the lights in Kern County. 17 schools are still fighting for a Valley title. Bakersfield Christian is the last area team standing in Division 3. The Eagles travel to Strathmore. In D2, Bakersfield welcomes Mission Prep to town. Wasco would try and keep their undefeated season alive against Frontier. Division 1 was off last week and they start their first round tonight. Garces and Liberty are the only two teams from the area in the bracket. Patriots head coach Brian Nixon was happy to have the break and now a home game against Clovis. Well, you know, after the game we had, it was an emotional game. It was senior night. It's a rival game, you know, with Bakersfield. And uh, that allows us to kind of regroup and, and kind of get healthy and, and then kind of start doing our install a little earlier than we normally would for our playoff run. So and that was the one thing going into the night. You didn't know if we were going to flip, you know, the computer rankings, if that was going to change. But they changed, you know, by the time we woke up in the morning. And uh, we're pretty excited. We haven't had a lot of games here. We've been on a bus for a lot this year. So uh, it's good to have these kids have one more game at home. For your morning sports update, I'm Adrian Luevano. Have a great day.